Alright guys, this is DocM with another Minecraft video and in my last tutorial guys I showed you how to make this yeah, very simple elevator here, it's a boat elevator. And in this tutorial I talked about multi-floor selection and how you could implement it. Well, I made a little demonstration setup because I saw in the comments some guys were asking how to really do it. I thought I explained it uh, carefully, but yeah, better show it real quick. So, you, right here you can see the most simple way of floor selection. We have one, two floors. So we only need a lever, um, floor one, floor two. How do we control that now? Well, if you go up, um, we can see our trapdoor. The trapdoor is used to push the boat down and accelerate it to shoot it out to our stopper block. So right now, the default setup would be first floor. We jump in, activate our elevator, right up. And then the trapdoor stops us. We get spun around. Um, like lined out correctly facing the exit and now the boat is here. For the second floor, well, flick your lever, second floor selected, you can see the trapdoor opened now and now we could go further up. Let's quickly do that, see how it works. Sit in there, I'm not touching any directional keys at the moment. We're going up, passing the first area here. Yeah, now we go further up, I spun around and shut out. Now we arrived at the second floor. As I told you guys to get up and down in elevators, I always use quick drops because I just think it's the fastest way. Um, you could, for example, have one here. How you would do it? Well, you would have a, a cube like that. And let's quickly build our way down. Should in, you should encase it, you know, it's, it's always safer if you have your quick drops encased. Like this, and then you would go, say, where is the floor? Our floor, where we start off is here. Yeah, that should be fine. Two blocks above your floor, and then the rest here. Like so, and your last part of the frame. Let's put it down. All right, and finish it up in front so it's a real tube, like so, and this is basically where we would exit, right here. So to make it a nice quick drop, you just use a sign, for example, um, where is one, mm, sign, here, a water bucket I got already, and then you just would put it in there, put water on top, and there you have it. Now you have a quick drop. You can get easily from top to bottom. So you would walk out here. Let's, you could have some more blocks around. Now let's take, let's stick with the wool like this. And now if you go to survival mode, you walk in there. Oh, you want to go down, jump in there, and you take no damage. And you could go up again with your elevator, right? So this is the quick drop, up and down, and jumping down is the fastest way. So that is the very basic um, setup. If you would want to have more floors, of course, you would need a control level trapdoor for the next floor as well. You can see it right here. We got one on the left side for the first floor, and we got one on the right side here for the third floor. Um, those um, um, trapdoors here are controlled by a small selection board that is a very, very basic one. Static f lately made a nice one for multiple floors. I will provide a link in the video description, you can check it out. So this one is a simple RS knowledge. You can see the RS knowledge here, 
these three blocks with the torches. One input selection is here and the other one is there and this is, this is our output. So right now the output is powered and first floor is selected. That happens if you press this button here. If you want to go to the second floor now, this one opens, the one on top closes. Let's see it again. So this is how you would implement more floors, you know. Um, you would extend the elevator, have your next level here and extend your control board and of course you would have to hook up all your individual lines to your trapdoors. Think about it real quick, the default for all trapdoors should be opened. And if you select the floor, only the trapdoor closes that is on that floor. So really simple, um, just connect all the outlines of your control board to the individual doors. Make sure you have them set right, you know. Um, if the signal is not okay, just invert it. And there you go, um, not too hard to do. So now I want to show you real quick how you extend the elevator. This is how you would stop. You know. Now we want to add the next floor. Um, what you should do is basically make it a, big, a bit higher. Just like so. Go around with your glass panes until here. And you have to leave that gap open there, otherwise it would, would look weird a bit, but if you want you can extend. So now um, we need to go over. That would be an issue. You see we don't have the too high clearance here, so now it's time again to use fence gates. There we got one. What you need to do is, well, as you cannot place fence gates in the air, you need to have a block again. Put it down, open up the fence gate, remove the block and now you see we have this issue with the water that's breaking off. Um, we saw that in the um, basic tutorial already. So what you do, we need to extend our water real quick. There you go. Now water goes up and if you want to extend your elevator, well, real simple. Throw in a source block here, throw in another one there. And now keep on doing your glass rings as you did before. This time you can continue here all the way to the fence gate. Make sure you do not touch it so you don't close it. So it's still able to pass. Well, yeah, and there we go. Water, source blocks, and you could continue your pattern. Now we would have the multi floor selection and for the vertical wiring to control it, well, you can see it right here. We got the lever, redstone, and it's hitting that torch. And now the signal is transferred up, and it depends a bit how high um, your floors are and whatever, you know, how many torches you fit in. So you might um, have it a little bit different. But for me, it turned out cool. Like when I switch down first floor, second floor is up. Um, if your signal doesn't fit right or something, just remove um, this redstone, take a torch, and now you could invert the signal. So now, down is second floor, up is first floor. Right? So that's how you invert signals. Really simple. And that basically concludes this tutorial. I think you should be able to pull it off now, have multi-floor selection um, using Static's control board design or Sal Goddard made one, Armitage or many others, you know. But you can choose whatever selection device you want. Here it's a simple RS knowledge, there it's a lever or make it even more complicated. So guys, that's it for today. I hope that helped, I hope you liked that quick tutorial. I'm out. Bye.